Attention guests, may I have your attention please? We ask that you rise now for the academic processional and remain standing for the prayer. Welcome to the 2021 opening ceremony. Lauren Coverley will lead us in prayer. Please take a position of prayer or reflection that is comfortable for you. Holy One, we thank you for bringing these students here today in preparation for this upcoming year. We know beginning on this journey can be scary, exciting, and so much more. We seek your presence right now and ask that your guiding hand rests upon us. We thank you for bringing our loved ones here to rejoice in this day and upcoming year with us. We ask for them to feel comfort as they begin a new journey as well. We are thankful for our professors, administration, staff, coaches, and fellow classmates here at Capital University. We pray for feelings of secureness and comfort for them and ourselves. Holy One, thank you for blessing us with this time and space for a new beginning. May your presence be with us now and always. Amen. Please be seated. St students, families, faculty, staff, and friends, the 17th president of Capital University, Dave Kaufman. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to Capital University. On behalf of the Capital family, our distinguished faculty and staff that join us today, nearly 50,000 proud alumni worldwide, I welcome you and wish you the best for an outstanding start to our fall semester. To our special guests, 
our students, you students who begin your capital journey today, we celebrate you with this long-anticipated tradition. Today, you participate in the time-honored rite of passage of walking through Memorial Gateway and into the Capitol family. Capitol is a special community. We can provide all the opportunities of a major university with the safety and comfort of an intimate college. There's no limit to what you can pursue and achieve here, yet your professors will know you by name. This is a place where you not only have a voice, but your voice will be known and it will be heard. In addition to challenging you academically, capital will help you grow as a person and engage you socially. Our intent is to help you discover and become the best version of yourself. The university offers nearly 100 student organizations to help you find your community and contribute to something larger than yourself. I challenge you to find something you care about, get involved, and make a difference. It's here. As your studies progress over the next few years, your personal success will be measured by much more than your academic success. It will be measured by growth in your character, by your commitments, and your advocacy. Your success will be married by your judgment and ability to think critically, skills that will be honed through your capital experience. The university is here to support you every step of the way. Despite the pandemic conditions, we're well positioned as we enter a new academic year. As president, I will collaborate with all of you to establish a foundation of trust with a clear path forward to achieve our mission and ensure you realize your educational goals. Our leadership team has established a set of strategic initiatives to support you and move Capital University forward. Our focus is on uniting the university around a shared mission, investing in our faculty and student learning and success programs, implementing an aggressive diversity, equity, and inclusion agenda, and creating a testing and collaborative culture across all locations. All of our strategic actions are based on the foundational principle that everything we do will support student success and deliver a superior student experience. But our success as a university and your success as students go well beyond these initiatives. It takes a personal commitment from each of us to build a trusting culture and a welcoming learning environment. This involves celebrating our differences and valuing our unique characteristics. We must accept each individual as complete and make sure they are appreciated, valued, and respected. And that commitment starts with me. I'll ask no more of you than I ask of myself. As a leader of capital, I promise to demonstrate high character with integrity behind everything we do. I believe, as Martin Luther King Jr. did, the time is always right to do what is right. We are simply committed to doing the right thing, always in all ways. My leadership style is simple. I promise to commit to doing three things every day. And I ask you to commit to these same principles as a daily challenge. First is to keep all my words positive with no blaming, complaining, or getting defensive. You will not find a more positive and accountable leader or leadership team. The second is to learn a new thing every day. I will make mistakes but I promise to learn from them. I will strive to be better today than I was yesterday and better tomorrow than I am today. And third is to give my very best effort every day no matter what. No matter what the assignment, no matter what the challenge, I'll give my best effort and expect the same from my team. No one 
will outwork us. So I encourage each of you to make that same daily commitment. Think about it. If you show up every day with positive words, a positive attitude, looking to learn and committed to doing your very best, you'll thrive in our program and realize your goals and full potential. As you begin your capital journey today, do so knowing you're not alone. You're part of a special community that offers a superior learning experience, a support system, a rich professional network, a powerful source of inspiration, an agent of social change, and most importantly, a family. Today, the capital community is yours. Embrace change and continue to draw on the many resources we offer to help you learn how to thrive when challenged and turn obstacles into opportunities. Forever transformed by your capital university education, you will carry forward the knowledge and personal growth necessary to be a leader in your field of choice and make a lasting difference in the community where you live, work, and serve. A difference only you can make. Thank you and welcome to the Capital Family. It is now my honor and pleasure to introduce our Director of Choral Activities, Dr. Linda Hassler. Thank you. You can hear me now. Yes. <laughs> oh, I get applause just for that. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, the chapel choir has loved for years singing for this opening welcome session for our first year students and their families. And it's always a special moment, and it's always one of their favorite audiences to sing for. And this year, I have to tell you, it feels even more special than usual. It's been a little while since we've been able to sing live in front of a large group of people. And you're not just any large group of people. It's you, the new members of our community. We're so excited to see you and to welcome you to the CAP fam. The song we're going to sing for you today is specifically to celebrate this day, and the title of it is Lovely Day. It's by Bill Withers and co-writer Skip Scarborough, who worked a lot with Earth, Wind, and Fire. I was not able to get Earth, Wind, and Fire today, <laughs> but I will tell you, we have our own Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh -huh. We have Tomas Jarzecki on drums. Michael. Michael Lester on keyboard. Rika Fanning on bass guitar. And Jalen Mitchell will be our soloist. So the reason we're singing this piece is it captures really well what we've been feeling the last year the challenges we've faced, and the joy that we feel to be moving forward. The words go, when the day that lies ahead of me seems impossible to face, when everyone else instead of me seems to know the way, then I look at you, and the world's all right with me. Just one look at you, and I know it's going to be a lovely day. And a lovely year, I might add. See how I did that? <laughs> Last thing, there's a vamp at the end of this piece. And you know what? It's the perfect moment for you to celebrate with us. Stand up, dance, and sing along. Yep, I'll be watching. <laughs>
2025. See you. That is the right class, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, that was really great. Thank you for your enthusiasm. I also want you to know that you just had your choral audition and uh, rehearsals start next week. <laughs> um, seriously, we are excited to get back to singing. We will be singing masks. These are special singers' masks. Every singer in the choir will be um, equipped with these. They're much easier to sing in, and we're really looking to build our choirs for obvious reasons. Last year was challenging. We have a choir for every level of singer. It's very easy to sign up for audition. Go to our website, type in choir, choir audition, choir facts. Anyone will do, there's a link, sign up. We'd love to have you join us. Look how much fun they have, I mean, really. <laughs> so the second song we'll sing for you we always sing and it's a prayer the lord bless you and keep you and with this piece it's a tradition that any alumni of the chapel choir that are gathered with us rejoin the choir and sing with them again so at this time i would like to ask that the alumni of the chapel choir i'm seeing some come on up and join the chapel choir I have to tell you that this person coming up was in my very first choir at Capitol 31 years ago. So please know all of our first year students and all of their loved ones, parents and family, that it is our hope and prayer that the Lord will bless you and keep you and shine upon you. We're so happy you're here. Give you 
Please welcome Dr. Jody Fournier, Provost and Vice President of Learning. Please join me one more time in thanking Dr. Hassler, the chapel choir, and the accompanying instrumentalists. Are they amazing or what? Please also join me in thanking Capital University's faculty brass quintet, who has been playing us in and out. You're seeing just a little bit of what our Conservatory of Music is all about and the kind of learning that goes on here at Capitol, as well as the expertise of our faculty, staff, and students. It really is remarkable. Now it is my pleasure to welcome our first year students, transfer students, and extend this welcome to your family, your friends, and guests on behalf of our faculty and staff. In just a little while, you will pass through our gates on Main Street to signify the beginning of your relationship with Capital University. As a member of our community, you will define yourself by the values for which you stand, by the wisdom on which you rely, and by the vocation through which you will serve the world. The faculty will be your guide. They will offer new sets of skills to help you think critically reason logically, and communicate clearly. At Capitol, you will find the inspiration to live a life of reflection, a life of action, a life of civic and community engagement, and a life of service to others. New students, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to the faculty of Capitol University. These individuals are scholars known for their contributions to their fields, known by the books that they have written, by the articles they have published, and as we've seen today, by the art they've created and performed. These individuals are expert practitioners, known for their impact on their professional worlds. Most of all, the Capital University faculty are dedicated teachers, committed to the transformation of your life through higher education. Students, it is also my pleasure to introduce to you the staff of Capital University. Equally committed to your transformation, our staff promote and enhance your learning on the playing field, in the community, in our library, and in the residence halls. We are passionate about educating the whole student and are deeply committed to learning inside and outside the classroom. Our dedicated staff members are skilled experts, trained to promote your health and well-being, your leadership development, and your overall success, and your time here at Capitol and beyond. Staff and faculty, please join me in welcoming the newest members of our Capitol family, the new incoming students and transfer students. Students, we are thrilled that you are here. You can do this, you belong here, and we will help you. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Bree Chambers, President of Student Government. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as was stated, my name is Bree Chambers, and it is my distinct pleasure and privilege to serve as president of the Ninth General Assembly of Capital University Student Government. I want to extend my thanks to the administrative body for offering me the opportunity to personally welcome you all home this afternoon as you embark on this most exciting journey. Uh, as you get to know me, you will find that it is very rare that I am lost for words. However, when I was asked to speak, I found them largely insufficient. 
to contain the spirit of this place, the passion of our scholarship, the diligence of our faculty and staff, and the kindness of our students within a few short words is a disservice. So instead, I will tell you that the magic of this campus is not found within words, but found within a feeling. It is a feeling you may find in the classroom, you may find it on the stage, you may find it on the field, or perhaps at a lectern as a student leader yourself someday. In any case, it feels like care, it feels like encouragement, it feels like exploration, like success, and like deep love, and that is what makes Capitol feel like home. I look forward to watching you blossom this year in pursuit of the day that you leave this place even better than you have found it. And we as an institution are so blessed and so deeply grateful that you've chosen us. Welcome to the CAP fam. Years from now, you will still recall your very first days at Capitol. Arriving on campus, the people you met, and all of the welcome weekend activities. Today, we commemorate this new beginning with the ceremonial passage of the incoming class through our memorial gateway, where students are welcomed into the academic community by the university's distinguished faculty, administrators, staff, student leaders, and parents, many of whom themselves are Capitol alumni. This procession has become a rite of passage. It symbolizes membership in a community that values broad intellectual pursuit and bold artistic endeavor, a society where all are free to question and to think critically, a culture that relies on diversity and demands inclusion an invitation to turn thought into action for the good of society. Through these same gates you enter today, you will, in three or four short years, accept another challenge. Informed by our shared values and all you have learned, you will go on to make the world a better place. Students, after you process through the gate, cheered on by our entire community, Please meet your families and friends at the fountains to say your see you soons, not goodbye, see you soons, before your residence hall floor or commuter meetings. Now, the words we have all been waiting for, I will see you at the gate. Attention family and friends. Attention family and friends. Please remain seated for the recessional. The faculty will now lead incoming students toward the Memorial Gateway. After the faculty and students have recessed, the orientation leaders will direct friends and family to the gate. Thank you.
Thank you.